Grab onto your armrests and prepare for a screamingly good time. Help! Somebody help me, please! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movie icons. And I'd like to know what they are. For this list, we've rounded up those creative, iconic personalities from in front of or behind the camera that have shaped the horror film industry. Who are you? Who let you in? You won't find Alfred Hitchcock here, though, as he was the master of suspense, not horror. Number 10, Robert Englund. Please, God. This is God. Starting off our list is the man of everyone's nightmares. Come to Freddy. This character actor has had a steady 40-plus year career, but made a name for himself as the terrifying razor-gloved Freddy Krueger in the 1980s. Somebody you bastard! Wes Craven's classic slasher film A Nightmare on Elm Street gave birth to one of the most iconic horror movie villains ever, thanks to England's portrayal, and it has since spawned multiple sequels and TV shows. The only thing to fear is fear himself. Since then, England has contributed his acting, directing, and voiceover skills to over 40 horror films, television series, and documentaries, cementing his status as a legend and pop culture icon. No! She's mine! 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 Number 9. Toby Hooper Next, we move behind the camera for the writer-director mastermind behind some of the most gruesome images ever put on film. This professor turned filmmaker first got noticed because of his revolutionary slasher flick, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! This 70s classic is considered one of the most influential films of the genre due to its gritty realism and unique but brutal storytelling, which mainstream audiences had never experienced before. <laughs> Come on, Franklin! It's gonna be a fun trip! Having changed the horror landscape for good, Hooper went on to create and rebrand as many horror tropes as he could, while creating a string of successful and visceral films like Poltergeist. <laughs> Number 8. Boris Karloff Permit me to present you with the most sensational find since that of Tutankhamun. No matter what generation you're from, this actor's face is immediately recognizable, as long as he's in makeup. Just like his fellow actor, the man of a thousand faces, Lon Chaney, Karloff made a name for himself in the early days of horror especially during the classic Universal Monsters craze by playing heavily made-up creatures of the night. Quiet! Quiet! Most notable is his now iconic and often copied portrayal of Frankenstein's monster, which he played numerous times. Who are you? I'm Maria. Will you play with me? He subsequently created a long career playing unforgettable monsters, crazed killers, and mad scientists. Number 7. Stephen King Hi, Carrie. Although he's dabbled a little bit in the world of cinema himself by directing and writing a few memorable projects, the King of Horror's major contribution comes from his literary work. Wendy, I'm home. Arguably the most successful and famous fiction writer of the last century, he has written dozens of best-selling novels that have delved into every frightening recess of our imaginations. Yes, I told you I was your number one fan. The award-winning author's material has been the inspiration for over 40 of the most thrilling movies ever made, such as Carrie, Misery, I don't want her fat! I want her! and The Shining. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin as well as popular TV miniseries and countless short film adaptations. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Number 6. Christopher Lee Next on our list, we have one of the most prolific actors of all time. With almost 300 different acting credits, 
Christopher Lee is best known for having brought back the most famous bloodsucker, Count Dracula, to popularity on the big screen starting in the late 1950s. <laughs> Seen often alongside Peter Cushing, they both became the faces of Hammer horror films, whose productions make up the second great era of horror. Somebody help me. Since then, Lee has played countless villains, from The Mummy to Frankenstein's monster, from Bond villain to Star Wars villain, and even Saruman in the Lord of the Rings franchise. I will find the ring and kill the one who carries it. <laughs> Number 5. George A. Romero They're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. Young George Romero set out to make a small indie movie and ended up creating a horror masterpiece. His allegory of prejudice, Night of the Living Dead, gave birth to the modern incarnation of the zombie as we know them today. The wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. The undead stumbling corpses inspired him to make five sequels, and they've since infiltrated pop culture and spawned a new generation of gory entertainment on the big screen. His other horror thrillers, like The Dark Half, have won him numerous awards and cemented him as a living legend of the horror industry. Number 4. John Carpenter So what is this big, big news? Here we have the director responsible for making Halloween even more terrifying than it ever was. What's the boogeyman? Although John Carpenter hasn't always strictly worked in horror, having been noted as a master of thrillers, action, and sci-fi, he established himself as the man who brought the ruthless Michael Myers into our nightmares. <laughs> having turned Halloween into one of the biggest franchises of all time, he is also credited for making one of the greatest horror remakes of all time with The Thing. Whether dealing with aliens, vampires, ghosts, or killer cars, Carpenter is a true visionary. Number 3. Wes Craven Hello. Hello. Yes? Who is this? Mm, who are you trying to reach? Rounding out our top three is the brilliant mind behind not one, but two of horror's biggest franchises. You're saying Freddy. This is ancient thing. Right. Apart from A Nightmare on Elm Street taking over in the 80s, Wes Craven reinvented the genre he helped develop with the darkly comic slasher satire Scream in the 90s. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. One of the most rewarded and revered horror film directors, he constantly surprises his audience with his content and range. While working on countless other projects as producer or writer, or through his work on television. That juicy. <laughs> A true modern day master of horror. What the hell is this? That's just some stuff that I. <laughs> Number two, Bella Lugosi. I bid you welcome. As we swing back to the golden years of horror, we celebrate the creature of the night himself. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. This Hungary-born stage actor moved to America in the 1920s, and the rest is history. Probably one of the most recognizable actors to portray Count Dracula ever, this brilliant actor with his piercing eyes and unmatched accent appeared in over 40 horror films. Your will is strong, Van Helsing. Whether he's playing a twisted mad doctor in one of his Edgar Allan Poe inspired thrillers, what a delicious story to make, man. Or a misunderstood creature in Island of Lost Souls, there has never been a hypnotic, cinematic genius quite like him. Indeed. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. What are you? Are you me? 
I'm badass. And you're good ass. We'll tear your soul apart. <laughs> What do you think? Do we hit him now or tonight? Tonight. <laughs> Number one, Vincent Price. Does it make you happy? For those who think they don't recognize his face, all they need to do is listen to that voice. Deepen those lines around the corner of the mouth. Not too much. There. There, that's better. The unrivaled master of horror, Vincent Price made a career out of giving us chills for almost six decades. Murder, torture, execution, scare the living daylights out of people. I don't care for that kind of patronage. His genius can even be felt through his voiceover and narration work in hundreds of films and TV series. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. And of course, who can forget his infamous cackle in Michael Jackson's Thriller? <laughs> From mad scientist to the devil himself, or through playing iconic characters like Dr. Fives, Price is the ultimate face behind the cinematic art of horror storytelling. He will have a face. Do you agree with our list? It reminds me of the broken battlements of my own castle. Which horror icons do you think deserve the spotlight? For more spooky top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I won't do it! No!